Hey guitar rockers, this is Mark Turco from RhythmGuitarLessons.net and today I have a video for you about taking first position chords that use open strings and we're going to move them all over the neck and have really cool sounding chords. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the basic chord shapes that we're going to be using and then I'm going to show you locations in which you can play them in which they sound really cool still letting those open strings ring. So I just want to give you a quick note. When I do these examples, I'm not going to be using any low open strings at all. The lowest string that I'm going to be playing is the thickest string that one of my fingers is on. So the first chord shape we're going to use is an E major chord shape. And we're going to use that on frets one and two, three and four, four and five, six and seven, eight and nine, and 11 and 12. So the next shape we're gonna use is an F major triad where we're gonna use our third finger on the third fret of the fourth string, our second finger on the second fret of the third string, and our first finger on the first fret of the second string. And we're gonna use this shape on frets one and three, three and five, five and seven, six and eight, eight and 10, 10 and 12. The next shape we're going to use is an A minor shape. We're going to use this shape between frets 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 6 and 7, 8 and 9, and 10 and 11. The next shape we're going to use is a C major chord shape. We're going to use that shape between frets 1 and 3, 3 and 5, 8 and 10, and 10 and 12. So as you can see, it's pretty cool. We could take these very simple shapes and we can move them around the guitar neck and let those higher open strings ring. It really gives a unique quality to the sound of the chords. Now, of course, when we take like, for example, our C major shape and move it up between frets eight and 10, it's actually no longer a C major chord. It makes it an entirely different chord, but those added open strings really add character to it. You could try this with every chord on any fret. You determine whether or not it sounds good to you. You don't have to use my suggestions. So I just wanna give you a quick example of if I use different combinations of these shapes in different frets, you can actually make a really cool sounding chord progression.
So just a quick recap. Don't be afraid to move those shapes all around the neck and just see what they sound like. Experiment. You don't actually even really need to know the name of the chord that you're playing. If it sounds cool to you, then it's cool. Tell me in the comment section what other topics you would like me to make videos on. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I make another video. Remember, always have fun with your guitar, and I'll see you next time. If you like that video, you're gonna love this brand new e-guide that's totally free. The link is in this video's description, or you can go to rhythmguitarlessons.net forward slash capital P, lowercase r, lowercase o.